Good morning, guys. This is Brantley with uh, 30 Minute Fishing. Just wanted to remind you guys uh, that got the subscriber giveaway um, at the end of this month. So that's coming up. So if you're already not a subscriber and you're watching this, please subscribe. And guys, remember to hit the like button down at the bottom. And also, guys, just wanted to remind you all of the great power of God and how great God is and just make sure you give thanks to God today <clears throat> for this day that he has given us and also guys one quick note just wanted to talk about uh, later today I'm going to be doing another video and one thing that I thought about this morning and sometimes doesn't get talked about enough you know and I look at it every single day um, guys if you're not already doing it there's lots of different places to look and find this information but find out the information as far as the sullener or lunar feeding times <clears throat> and like I said they they vary every day I think they change about an hour every day you know from today to tomorrow that's typically about what it is um, I think when I checked this morning, today's, there's a, always a major and a minor time. The minor time this morning was from like 8 something, or 8.30 to 9.30, I believe. And the major time today is going to be, I think it's like 2.30 or 2.40 to like 4 o'clock, okay? So, and some days it varies, you know, sometimes it'll be uh, three hours long, that feeding time or, and sometimes it's less and actually I think there's a little bit of a misconception too is most places call it a solar or lunar feeding time but actually what it is is this, the fish are at a higher activity level actually pretty much all wildlife a lot of times will be at a higher level activity so in turn what that what that means is you know it kind of the whole food chain is going to be more more active there's going to be you know everything is moving around more so and again like when I started this channel I always tell you guys you know I started this because I wanted to show people you know how many fish you can catch sometimes and how much fun you can have in as little as 30 minutes well another way to do that is to check on these major and minor solar and lunar times because that way you can make sure you're on your best spot or you're fishing your best pond or whatever it might be but make sure you're on the water at that major time or sometimes even the minor time it all depends I mean some you you know the major is usually the best but anyway check make sure you check out those um, lunar tables and everything and also check your different moon phases you know a lot of times um, fish you always hear the fish bite really good on a full moon and yeah sometimes that's the case I think it's that comes into play more in the spring when when bass are starting to bed and things like that or, or a lot of fish in the spring are you know that's the mating season per se for a lot of fish in the springtime but after that, a lot of times, one moon phase you want to pay attention to is that new moon. You know, it, it seems like there's a lot more fish caught on that. But then, even something as far as uh, I've noticed, me personally, when there's a waning gibbous moon, uh, a lot of times I seem to have a better topwater bite here in the area where I am. And again, this might vary from different areas and things such as that. But these are just little things that sometimes a lot of people overlook. You know, as far as these moon phases and the activity times or feeding times. So guys, just make sure you check all that stuff out because there's a, you know, so much knowledge available to us nowadays. And we need to use it. You know, and all these things can help. But again, this is Brantley with 30 Minute Fisherman. Like I said, remember this is a day that God has made for all of us. You know, give thanks, 
be appreciative for what he's done and remember to enjoy this great outdoors that he's given us and God bless and see you guys next time